Okay, now lastly we need to talk about um, comparing decimals. Now we've talked about, we looked at whole numbers, we looked at what was, you know, larger and smaller. We've done this with fractions, comparing which one was larger and smaller. Now we're going to do this with decimals. So, it's actually much easier whenever you, whenever you look at decimals because you literally compare place value to place value. So let's see what I'm talking about here. Here we have four numbers and it says write the following in order from smallest to largest. Okay, so we are literally going to look at these numbers place value by place value. So here we have in the ones position all zeros. So as far as that goes, those are all equivalent. Now in the tens position, uh, tenths position, these have all sixes. So according to that position, they are all equivalent also. It's only whenever we get to the hundredths position that it changes. Here we have two in the hundredths position. Here we have zero in the hundredths position. Zero is less than two, so these two numbers are going to be smaller than these two numbers. Now, continuing on, these both have zeros in the hundredths. In the thousandths, this one is nine and this one is zero. Well, zero thousandths is less than nine thousandths, so our smallest number would be the 0 0.6009. Next would be the 0 0.609. Now for the other two numbers. They both had a 2 in the hundredths position, so that's basically equivalent. They both have an 8 in the thousandths position, so that's basically equivalent also. But this one doesn't have anything in the next spot, whereas this one has a 1. So point 0 0.628 would be smaller than 0 0.62812. So this would be ordered from smallest to largest of those numbers. Now, we can do the same thing whenever it comes to fractions also. The only thing is that we need to actually figure out what those are in decimal form. So 5 eighths, if I did the division, um, that would be 8 would go into uh, 56 times. That would be 48. So I could drop and continue. 8 would go into 22 times. That would be 16. Continuing on, 8 would go into 45 times evenly. So 5 eighths is really 0.625. And I could put a 0 if I wanted to. Now 7 tenths. Again, we can pretty much write that one just from reading it. 0 0.07 is 7 tenths. And now we can write these in order from large, smallest to largest. So the ones that have a 0.6 are going to be smaller than 0.7. So we're going to save this one for the end. So here we have a 6, 6, 6 is our tenths. Those are the same. Here we have 2 and 2 is the hundredths. And then this is 5 in the hundredths. So this one is larger. Between these two, here we have a 9 in the thousandths and we have a 5 in the thousandths. Actually, the 5 in the thousandths is going to be the smallest number. But that was originally 5 eighths, so we need to write it as it truly was. So 5 eighths and then the 0 0.629. Then we said that the 0 0.65 was larger than that. And then finally, 0.7, which we write as 7 tenths, as it originally was. All right, last one. And again, we need to write these as the, the decimal so that we can compare them. 1 tenth, we could write as 0 0.01. And if you did the division, 1 fifth would come out as 0 0.02. Now to write these from smallest to largest, the point zero, 0 0.1 would be first, so that's one tenth, and then the 0 0.1501, and then the one fifth, and then 0 0.25, smallest to largest.